Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, the new Dark Magician cards. Uh, this is currently my decklist. Feel free to leave uh, feedback, opinions about my uh, card choices down below. Um, so yeah, the, the new cards um, are excellent. Definitely very good uh, Dark Magician support. Um, is it tier 1? Probably not. Uh, the deck uh, still suffers a lot of uh, issues. There's a lot of uh, consistency issues, but um, yeah, weaknesses. Uh, the same like the, the power cards, like Circle or, or something like that, uh, are, are of course very powerful, but uh, they need setup. And uh, that makes the deck a little slow and vulnerable uh, to fast decks. Um, something like Twin Twister, for example, is a big threat here for the deck, as you will see here in uh, the dual videos, in the videos themselves. Uh, so they have a strat also, Magician's Rot, definitely a 3 of in the deck. The Wonder Rope, not really sure about the Rope, don't really like it that much. I'm probably going to drop it uh, from the main deck, but um, yeah, I'm not really sure about the card. Uh, Prisma is doing extremely well, uh, immediately setting up Dark Magician from uh, my deck to the grave. And uh, of course with Summoner Monk instantly going for something like Daikusto Emeral is uh, is excellent. Very nice play too. Yeah, Daikusto Emeral, you know, can reborn normal monster from your grave, so instantly special summoning Dark Magician is very nice. Uh, Magician of Black Illusion, the new level 7, currently at 3, but I might cut this one down to 2. Um, it's just an extra target to special summon from the deck with something like Navigate. Navigate is like that huge uh, Gotham's Emergency Call for Dark Magicians, definitely a 3 of, and can be searched out with uh, Magician's Rod. Um, they also have Eternal Soul, uh, either a search card for um, a thousand knives, which is not in the deck, don't really like the card that much, but it can also search out the dark magic attack and it's a continuous trap that you can use both during your opponent's turn and during your own turn as well very good but um yeah, it's also a call of the haunted, of course. Uh, once per turn, you can just reborn one of your dark magicians from your grave. The biggest downside of this card, if this phase-up card, your eternal soul is destroyed, or at least it if uh, it leaves the field, all of your monsters are destroyed. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, the, the solemn brigade, I recently added one extra solemn notice in favor of one upstart goblin. So yeah, the two uh, last uh, upstart goblins are just filler. Um, maybe I'm going to cut uh, those two for like a dark renewal and. Maybe Maybe something else. A Twin Twister, probably. Um, Instant Fusion, I think is a, th a 3 off in the deck. Um, instantly made at rank 4 Exceed play, something like Castell or again, Takusto Emerald is just too good. Soul Charge is a no-brainer. And currently I'm running 3 Eye of the Mayas. Um, I, I, for me, it's it's definitely one of the MVPs. Instantly go for uh, something like Dark Paladin. Dark Paladin negates spells from the opponent, something like... Uh, yeah, definitely MVP if you're playing against uh, pendulum based decks. So that's why I'm playing three. It's also searchable with Rot. Um, so you, you might uh, can cut it down to two. Um, I'm not running that uh, Amulet Dragon in the extra deck. Don't really like it that much. Most of the time going for Dark Paladin is much better. Um, the extra deck is really tight. Other than that, um, I think I pretty much explained it all. Um, yeah, the new one, Ebon Void Magician, isn't that great um, due to its low stats. Uh, 2000, yeah, 2300 attack, 2800 uh, defense. It's good, of course. Activating quick play spells and traps from your hand during your opponent's turn is good. But uh, yeah, the, the other exceeds, the other rank 7 exceeds in, in most situations are just better. Like Big Eye or Ebon Magician, most of the time it's just better to go for uh, those. So my opponent is playing with uh, Blue Eyes, so Dark Magician versus Blue Eyes, Yugi versus Kaiba, right, um, so let's hop in into the first game. Alright, uh, first tool, and I think, um, yeah, my opponent starts, I'll let my opponent start, since that sixth card uh, can be nice, and uh, something like uh, that Dark Magic uh, Harpy's Feather Duster can be nice, uh, right, so the opponent has a very nice start immediately, having six cards, uh, six cards, um, so the White Spirit on the side of the field, next to that, uh, yeah, it's going to be a Zura, so immediately, we're going to bl yeah, blow uh, him away, blow away his back row, the Solemn Strike, which he could have activated on Prisma, but Prisma is a cost, as you know, so still sending a Dark Magician from my deck to the grave and uh, yeah I probably would have done the same just keep the strike just in case um, so followed up with uh, instant fusion for Dagusto Emerald and Reborn Dark Magician to go for Dark Paladin and Dark Paladin against the dragon deck is MVP <laughs> gaining that uh, all that attack points I think 500 for each dragon type monster on my opponent's side of the field and in their grave but um yeah, anyway, so he, make, yeah, he can make a nice uh, comeback here, uh, thanks to that alternative dragon. He can pop one of my monsters, so he's going to pop my uh, Dark Paladin, and he goes for that... Uh, um 
Yeah, I forgot to name that galaxy uh, card to pop my uh, face up magician circle that circle is definitely one of the MVPs here in the deck one of the first cards you want to search out with rope and um, go for big guy but yeah that's it he made a mistake as soon as he popped that uh, face up spell card that circle he realized he should have popped one of my monsters prevent me from going for big eye but um, I don't think it would have mattered that much since uh, that my yeah my top deck was eternal soul the call of the haunted so immediately during my opponent's draft phase I would have uh, instantly used eternal soul to reborn a dark magician and uh, that summon would have triggered circle banishing his uh, his monster so um yeah it wouldn't have mattered that much again yeah with this gospel he would, he would have been able to reborn his uh, white uh, dragon to pop my back row and again if eternal soul is uh, sent off of the field or leaves the field all of my monsters are destroyed so yeah it, it's again it the, the, the duel would have been uh, completely different that's uh, what i wanted to say Anyway, so second game, he lets me start um, that Twin Twister. I, I think the, his deck is running three Twin Twisters. Definitely one of the biggest threats here for the deck since it instantly gets rid of a circle and something else. Uh, I think he hit a strike. Um, he forces out my Eternal Soul already, which kind of blows since I have to search out that Dark Magic attack. No reason not to activate it, right? But... Uh, Again, have circle, circle instantly uh, searches it. I think Eye of the Mayas, not really sure. Go for Ebon Magician, go for Dark Magician immediately. Eye of the Mayas into Dark Paladin to get rid of his monsters. Um, I think I had to suicide, right? And now I'm in a decent position and I can negate any spell card, something like Traden or Gospel or Silver Scry, but he has one of his outs. Um, I think earlier you already used that, yeah, one alternative dragon, which he searched from Melody, but he had that second one, the second copy. And that kind of blows. <laughs> and on top of that, he's able uh, yeah, to get one blue eyes back from his hand. And uh, my dead top deck is a solemn uh, notice. Yeah, I don't think I had any other options uh, previously. Uh, Draco's deck maybe, but that wouldn't have mattered that much. That Ebon Magician, that new Ebon Magician rank 7, also wouldn't have mattered that much. So I think I always would have lost uh, the second game. Anyway, I let him start. He goes for a um, Titanic Galaxy to negate a possible spell. Good pick, but uh, Monk. <laughs> Monk is an easy out for uh, Prisma. Prisma setting up the Dark Magician. And maybe, yeah, two options here. Just attack with Castell for 2k and uh, keep the Instant Fusion in hand. But I go for damage... Yeah, most of the time, that's not the better move, but um, yeah, my thought process here, okay, I have that quick play spell that can tribute one, uh, yeah, one, for example, a Dark Magician, and search up to two Dark Magicians from my deck and add them to my hand, and at the same time, that puts one Dark Magician in my grave, later to be reborn by Eternal Soul, so again, special summon a Dark Magician, and use Cycle, uh, yeah, Circle, to banish one card from the opponent, but he rips a Twin Twister, he's definitely top decking here during our games, but but uh, I can make a comeback, use a circle, a normal summon rope to get a search. Uh, uh, I think, no, it's Rod, yeah, indeed, it's Rod to get a search, and in instantly, uh, yeah, you know both his monsters, uh, his Silver Dragon and his White Dragon cannot be targeted, I can only target that new special summoned White Dragon with uh, my Circle, so I think I had to use my uh, Eternal, uh, um, yeah, my Trap card here to, re to reborn at least special summon to Blue Eyes and banish his White Dragon, but, um, yeah, again, he makes a good move, uh, Attacking with uh, both, uh, at least yet, attacking with both his monsters over my monsters. He also had an option to go for uh, Titanic Galaxy, but uh, that, that would have left me with, I think, one Dark Magician still. And uh, in the end, it wouldn't have mattered that much since uh, I hit the Eye of the Mayas with Circle and instantly go for Dagoost Eminal. That's why I'm playing double Dagoost Eminal in the extra deck. And Dark Paladin seals the game with over, yeah, I think 7k attack uh, very nice very cool duels um so can you conclude that dark magician is better than blue eyes well not really these are only yeah these are only like three duels so you, you can't really say uh one uh, archetype is better than the other but uh yeah the new dark magician support is definitely uh fun i think uh it's it's already on Yu-Gi-Oh pro since uh today a few hours ago so uh feel free Again, to test it out, uh, to leave suggestions uh, so I can uh, change my uh, build. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me signing out. Peace.